this is how the original shot is this is how the original shot it was shot with white background if you take a look at the first layer here you'll notice we tag it as original this is how the image look that is how the shot was originally so we have the cut out image from the original image which is this cut out image which which is the reason why this mask is here this is cut out image then if we disable this now we notice we have complete image on a beautiful background then let's disable this this is the cut out image let's disable it and see this is what we have we have the background with part of the image at the downside so what is that part of the image for we use this for the shadows that's why it was tagged shadow if i put this on now and put this shadow off you notice that the image is a kind of floating then if we put on the shadow it's going to be placed directly on the floor we have this as shadow and if this other guy here we have this brightness and contrast adjustment layer which the bottom is being removed it is white at the top and the bottom was removed okay let's put it on and off and see so this is before and this is after this is before and this is after if you put this on you notice that the top part of the background is being darkened originally this is how the background was and let's disable this shadow part okay so the background is as bright as this for you to make your image pop out of the background you need the background to be a little bit dark or a kind of okay you need the image to pop out push out of the background for you to do that the background has to be a little bit darker than the image just like the light is thrown on the image not on the background okay we have to create this impression that this background is not as bright as the image can be if you turn this on now you notice that the background is a kind of a little bit dark and it suits the image so this is the entire image if we disable this all this now we notice that we have a very beautiful background here the reason for this tutorial is for us to share where we can get these backgrounds for free isn't that amazing so we are going to go online search for background download the background bring them into photoshop and see how they are going to look on this particular image this is Twisted Creative. Alari Beman is my name. So first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button. Also, ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. This is my Chrome. I'm going to search for Google here. So I'm going to enter and search for Google. So we have Google. We have to push enter to search for it. This is Google, then we have to click on Google to open Google Direct. So this is Google search. Then we have to enter this spot and search for Pinterest. We have to check the spelling very well. Pin, Pinterest. I don't know how you call it. Pinterest. We can call it Pinterest and we can see, call it Pinterest. Pinterest. If you want to get the spelling correct, you call it Pinterest. So I'm calling it Pinterest so as to get the spelling right then we are here we can go to google search we can search for pinterest then if you check the top here you notice that we have pinterest and no other pinterest so if you click on this if you click on this pinterest here if you are not signed in you can sign in because it's very very important it's very very important for you as a photographer a cinematographer or whatever you do is good you use pinterest pinterest is very very good so let's click on this hub to go to the home feed this is the home feed so this is the home feed you can see it here this is the home feed you can just scroll down scroll down and you're going to be seeing lots and lots of it's not only background you are going to be seeing but there are lots of things that whatever you do whatever you do you can find them here but we are into photography and we are looking for background that we can use for our work you are thinking about having something like this as a background then you can click on this and it's going to take you to other stuff that looks almost like this so you have them here if you, if you see if you notice that something you're looking for is not here you can go ahead and search you can go ahead and place your search and your description and some keywords you are going to get your stuff as straight as look at where you are going to be searching you are no longer going to search here because that should be 
stuff, Google stuff, then you have to go to this, you have to go to this search icon, this lens icon, this micro lens I, I, icon, then, then you go to search, you can click, you can, you can type in, you can type in whatever you are searching for here. These are the seven ways you can describe your photography background that you are looking for. So let's go with the first one. Photoshop background backdrops. So this is Photoshop background backdrops. Let's go. This is what we get from Photoshop background backdrops. So if you take a look at from here, guys, if you are somebody that is into compositing, there's no how you can't get those kind of backdrops you are looking for. So let's go down. There's nothing you can't find here. I, I, I can assure you. So these, are, these backgrounds are beautiful. So just take a look, take a look, take a look. Let's go for the next one, which is going to be, which is going to be digital photography background. We are going to search for digital photography background. So digital photography background, then we have to click enter to search for it. So these are, and as you can see, most of these are related. So it's going, it's just going to add some to it. It's going to spice it up with some of those stuff. So those keywords are related because photography is consigned as long as photography and background and all that is consigned. Then let's see what it's going to give us. Let's go to the next one, which is going to be maternity background. So this is maternity backdrops. They will have to hit enter and voila. So just check. So you can see from here you can get ideas there's there's lot and lots of idea for composition here so take a look take a look they are so numerous and beautiful so let's see the next one which is going to be studio backdrops so this is studio backdrops have to push enter and let's see so these are studio backdrops studio backdrops it's hard for you to see the background that is not here so just take a look take a look take a look isn't that amazing isn't that amazing so these are the backgrounds that we are all looking for so i i wouldn't want the situation whereby i will get these things and i will sell it to you guys so i'm just giving it out for free Please, if you are on this channel for the first time, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. See ring on that notification bell so that anytime new video is uploaded, you are going to be notified. And also comment. This is going to help us in the YouTube algorithm so that we can continue doing this job. You know it's not easy. So guys, as you watch to this extent, that means you like what you are seeing. Please help us to reach like 50,000 subscribers. If you search, if you search all these backgrounds, if you take a look at all these backgrounds, you see that they are beautiful. We are having studio backdrop here. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is photo studio design background. So this is photo studio design backdrops. So we have to click on go, enter, then you will see what it's going to give. There are lots and lots of backgrounds here. There are lots and lots of backgrounds here. If you take a look, they are so beautiful. They are so beautiful. You can use them for your composites. Bring your image here and place it down. It's going to represent. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is going to be Photoshop background backdrop for photographers. Okay, so we're going to go to... Photographers. Then you can push enter. Then have a look, have a look. They are beautiful, they are beautiful. Let's go to the last one, which is studio background images, full HD. To this, then you hit enter. Then this is what we got. Can, we now know how we can find this background online. Then the next thing is that, how can we download these backgrounds? Okay, 
Okay, let's look for one of the background. Let's just okay, let's take this one and voila. If you take a look at this image now, you notice that we have three dots here. If you left click, left click, it's not right click, left click on the right uh, three dots, then you notice that we have download image here. Once you click on the download image, it is done. It is done. So we have the image downloaded. Then let's look for something else. Let's look for something else. Okay, let's take this one and let's click on download. And it's done. So I will have some background that is downloaded here. Let's bring in three of these into Photoshop and let's place them on this image and see how they are going to look on this particular image. Okay, this gold, let's bring the gold in. Okay, let's drop the gold here. And you can see that it's very small. It's very small. Then we can spread it to match the size of our image. Okay, so we can hit enter. If you take a look at this, let's bring it down. Look at what happened here. Look at what happened here. Then if you want to add more effect to this, if you want to add more effect to this, with the background selected here, go to your rectangular marquee tool and drag from the top to somewhere around here. Then right click and feather with 300, then hit OK. Then go to your filter, blur, then Gaussian blur. Then with that little blur, it's going to make it <laughs> professional. Then let's hit OK. Then let's deselect and zoom in and see how this image is looking on this background isn't that amazing what about the situation whereby the color of your image will not match your background there's going to be a tutorial for that that is coming up okay let's go for another background let's remove this okay let's pick this one okay let's take this this is the gold and let's take it and take it and drop it here also let's spread it up and down let's spread it up and down okay what what if the floor is not enough let's disable this you notice that the floor stops somewhere here you can also use content aware field to complete the background or with the background selected like this you go to your rectangular marquee tool and mark the ground and mark the ground stop here then go to your move to then you can hold or shift or if you are holding shift type you can drag it down that is one secondly go to your rectangular marquee to drag around the area you want to expand then go to your move to then hold down your control to drag the down edge the bottom edge you can spread it to the right to the left then spread it to the right that is the best way you can expand this background then hit ok then you use your control d use your control d to deselect then you have the entire background occupy the space then you, with the background selected you can still go to your market tool and drag from there to here somewhere around here then right click and feather with 300 or thereabouts go to filter blur then gaussian blur then you can use the radius of seven or five depending on how strong your image is you can increase it up to nine and hit okay then you are good to go okay let's go for another background let's remove this and go for the next one which is this the same thing it's almost the same okay let's go look for something else So this is another this is another background that we can apply and see how it's going to look on the image. Let's see. Let's spread it out and So let's hit okay here. Then take a look. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, let's expand the downside of the background. Let's expand it. Let's take our marquee tool and drag around the ground. Then pick our move tool and 
we have to hold the edge and stretch it with angle like as you can see these lines continue and these lines continue so that is the essence so you use our control d to deselect then if you take a look at this image oh so amazing it's just just matching the color of the image let's select the background go to our rectangular market tool and drag around and stop somewhere here then we can use 400 or 300 to feather and hit ok then go to filter blow gaussian blow then it's going to blow to an extent then we we'll reduce or increase our blow radius and 7.4 is okay then hit okay use your control d to deselect if you notice that the edges of the image are too sharp then you go to filter blow gallery and feed blow you can pick this this particular first guy here and drop it on the face of course we want this face to be very sharp then you can reduce the blur here to zero, zero pixel. Then it's going to load. Then you can add anywhere. You can add anywhere you notice that sharpness on. Like if you check the hand here, if you check the arm here, you notice that the edges is the edges are sharp. So we can drop one here. Then we we'll reduce we'll reduce the blur here to two or four pixel so this is it we can we can also move it to a different location or direction so this is it you can no longer see that sharpness there the sharpness is no longer that much then we can add to this edge to kill the sharpness on the edge then we can reduce it to four or thereabouts then you notice that there is no f there will be no fringes and there will be no sharp edge you can see drop it on the hair side let's say the back side of the hair then you reduce the pix the pixel and you go you done so the image has sink into the background okay let's hit okay So let's zoom in and see this is amazing can't you see it's so so amazing just like originally shot there then let's see let's see the shadow okay let's see the image again so this is the background brightness then this is the reduced brightness then if you take a look is is so 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 amazing I believe this is it for today. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not, and the area we need to improve on. If you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. If you find this video interesting, please like the video. Don't forget, we still have 50,000 subscribers target. Help us to reach this target as soon as possible. Please make sure you subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe. So that is it for this video. See you in the next one. Keep creating. Bye for now.